Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, we're firing up the Lone Star Grills Offset Smoker. We're going to do us a beautiful, beautiful bone-in prime ribeye roast. You guys stay tuned. Let me show you how this prime ribeye roast comes out. Doing it JP style. Check it out. So I'm over here thinking that I'm going to have to do something to this uh, bone-in ribeye. But uh, my butcher already took care of it for me. He already got the, the, the ribeye separated from, from the bone uh, and got it trussed back up for me. So there's really not much that I got to do to this. Uh, even some of this fat up here on the top seems to be like... Uh, trimmed already pretty good down to like a quarter of an inch not that much fat over here um, you know on the bone end but and, and and you can see this check this out my gosh that is a beautiful beautiful marble and if you guys are are curious in regards to where I got this uh, bone in ribeye uh, I live in Central Florida and we got Publix all over the place. And one of my favorite Publix to visit is the one on Orange Avenue and, and Michigan. Uh, it's The area is called Soto, south of downtown Orlando. So that, that's the one I usually go to when I'm looking to buy some meat. And I talk to the butcher, I say, hey, here's what I'm looking for. I am looking for a, uh, a prime cut and I'm gonna be doing a bone-in ribeye. And I'm looking for something three or four bones. They're not sponsoring this video. You know, they're, they just, it, it's, it's a very nice Publix. Uh, and, and it's huge, it's like a super Publix compared to the other Publix around town. Since I ain't got much to do with it, let's go ahead and get it seasoned up. That way we can get the LSG fired up. Here's what I'm gonna do. And it probably doesn't need it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, I like to add a binder uh, to to my meat and especially when it comes to beef, you know, I like using this Lee and Perrin's Worcester sauce. A nice little binder, uh, add some good umami flavor uh, to it. The seasonings that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using two seasonings and not that it needs any, any, you know, a prime cut. All it really needs is salt and pepper. Uh, and if you prefer maybe a little bit of garlic on it, you know, that's that's fine. But I'm going to be doing this uh, this uh, prime rib. I am going to be using my JP steak seasoning. And also, uh, everybody is familiar with the JP AP. Okay, a good blend of salt, pepper, garlic. Uh, both of these go very well together and go very well on beef. So here we go, let's go ahead and get started. Since I don't have to uh, trim anything off of it, you know, we're just gonna um, put Worcester sauce right on top. Get some over on the sides. Oh my goodness, would you just look at the back part of it? I mean, that looks absolutely gorgeous. We let the light come in. Just look at the amount of marble in uh, that's in it guys. I mean, it looks I mean, it looks really really nice and This Worcester sauce on it. Oh my gosh This is gonna be good God almighty it's gonna be good. So a couple of things I wanted to announce uh, Before we start getting this thing or while we're getting this thing seasoned up is I have a, a, An Amazon page now so if you guys are interested in any of the products that, that I use, uh, I have them listed on my Amazon page. Uh, the other thing, uh, and, and there'll be a link down below for that, uh, you know, that'll show you all the products that I use. And, and I only put products uh, that I use um, that I feel are, are good products. You know, if I've never used them, you know, they're not, gonna, they're not going up on my page. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is if you're interested in any of the seasonings that I have, uh, the seasonings that I that I use and sell, uh, they're specially blended, you know, for me. So um, if you purchase any of these products, I'm gonna put the link to the website. If you're interested in any of these products, uh, it helps to support the channel, and it should pop up right there in the corner uh, as well. 
vegetables. Let's go ahead and get some of this seasoning on there. Give it a good shaking. Pop this lid open. And we'll start over here on the on the top cap. Oh my gosh. This smells good. We'll get some on the end. And uh, wow man, that thing is huge. This is roughly um I think it's about almost nine pounds. Nine pounds of a uh, of a prime ribeye. So it's so that should be enough for the for the JP steak. And we're gonna give it another dose of the JPAP. And this uh, this is salt, pepper, garlic, and it'll help build up that crust, you know, right on top. Shouldn't be too much longer, guys. We'll get this thing seasoned up. We'll start getting the smoker uh, ready. And uh, hopefully tonight we got us some nice uh, bone-in ribeyes. And that's about what she looks like. That is gorgeous. So now that I'm done with my bottles, I can go ahead and touch it with both hands. There it is, guys. Just a beautiful chunk of meat. And uh, the public sells green wise um, uh, when it comes to their meats. So this is a green wise uh, USDA Prime uh, bone in ribeye that I'm going to be smoking for you guys today. So let me get the smoker fired up. That way we can get to cooking. So here's what we're going to do, uh, how we're going to fire up this uh, Lone Star Grills offset. Uh, I like using oak wood for, for my cooks. So here in Central Florida, we got tons of oaks uh, everywhere. So, you know, I got a good supply of some oak wood and I'll be using oak uh, for this cook. The other thing I have with my Lone Star Grill is the fire assist and also have the fire management basket. Now, the nice thing about the fire management basket is that it keeps uh, all your wood right there in the center and it's got a nice little V shape. So when you go to add more splits of wood on top of the coals, you know, it, it just burns a little bit easier, a little bit more economical, I would say, a little bit more efficient. Uh, the fire assist, uh, if you're thinking about getting you a, a Lone Star Grill offset smoker, highly recommend those two things you know get you the fire assist and also get you that fire management basket um you know two things that when i bought my smoker i should have got but i eventually got them a little bit later on but you know i just absolutely love those two accessories that come with it uh the other the other thing when you fire this up uh you want to make sure that the door is wide open vents wide open I also have uh, uh, on top of the firebox wide open, you know, any black smoke or, you know, stuff like that. You don't want that to get inside your smoker. So once it's nice and lit and you got your nice bed of coals, you know, you should get some really nice uh, heat and some good smoke, uh, you know, for your cook. And that's what we're looking for. So here we go, guys. Smoker has come up to temp. Uh, I'm going to be running at about 275. I'm trying to keep it there. When it comes to offset smokers, there's there's obviously some uh, firebox or fire uh, management involved to try to keep it steady at 275. About every 45 minutes, I'm probably going to have to uh, add a split. But either way, it's come up to temp. Let's go ahead and get this bone-in ribeye put in. Well, I need a rag because these grates are hot. There we go. Somewhere around right there. And we're just gonna put this bad boy right here in the middle. That's my favorite spot. Get this probe put in. Right dead center. There we go. And we're gonna be running this uh, uh, we're going to try to shoot for about 120 degrees, maybe 115, because uh, it will creep up a little bit on you. And what I'm going to do when I get done, uh, when it gets up to that temp, is I'm going to break out the skillet. And I'm going to try to give it a good sear, if it needs it. You know, we'll look at it first, see see what it looks like. If it looks good, well, we're just going to dig in and eat. But there it is, guys. Uh, USDA Prime uh, Bone-In Ribeye. 
in the Lone Star Grill offset smoker. We're going to see what it turns out like. So I want to show you guys this neat little uh, gadget or tool, whatever you want to call it. Little mini log splitter, I guess, or manual log splitter. I don't even remember what it's called. I've had it for a little while now. And uh, I, I use it for making kindling. So you get you a big piece of wood like this, might be too big for the for the smoker, and you wanna get some kindling, that way you can get the fire going a little bit faster. So the way this works is you put the, the big split on there and you get you your sledgehammer. And it'll split it right in two, just like that. And if you want to make it a make uh, make them a little bit smaller, you know, you can. So nice little gadget to have. Uh, I use it every time I'm going to be using the the offset smoker, so I can make me uh, some kindling and uh, just just neat little thing to have. If you're interested in one of those. Um, Here's the trouble with 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 a, with things on Amazon is you buy this thing maybe a year ago or something and somebody sees it. Oh, where'd you get it? I said, well, I got it on Amazon. You go to Amazon and then Amazon says, uh, or whoever the seller is on Amazon says, currently unavailable. So I don't know if it's available or not, but if it is, I want to put it down in the link. If you're interested in one of those, check out that link. Um, you know, any, any links that I post, uh on my youtube channel it's an affiliate link which, which means i'm associated with amazon and uh it doesn't cost uh, the viewer or, or the person any more money you know the price is the same but for using that link i get a little bit of commission that helps support this channel so if you're interested in one of these you know go and get you one okay just wanted to share that with y'all time to get back to this smoker so this bone-in ribeye has hit about the halfway point, guys. It's roughly at about 61 degrees right now. Let's take a look at it, see what it looks like. I'm gonna try to get you out of some good shots. Uh, but I guess first things first, I gotta find me a rag. Eh, this will do right here. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that, but boy, that looks good. Let me get you a little zoomed in shot. Get this camera raised up a little bit. Man, does that look good. There we go. We get you a close up. I mean, just it's taking on a nice little crust. So we're about halfway there, guys. 60 degrees and still climbing. I'm gonna put these potatoes in there. I got me like four potatoes. Got me about four potatoes and I'm gonna put them down in this bottom rack. We'll get that bad boy put back in there. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna take some pictures first and we're going to put these potatoes right here, close to the firebox. There we go. Get that back in. I'm going to take some pictures. But we're almost there, guys. We're about halfway there. We're getting close. we we'll get this thing closed up. I'll keep you guys posted in regards to what it comes out like. Hey, guys. This bone-in ribeye is done. Let's go ahead and get it out of the smoker. It already hit an internal temperature of 125 degrees in the center. So the outside of the meat's gonna be a little bit more, you know, closer to probably medium. But let's take a look at it. Let's take it out so we can let it rest. Yes, sir. Look at that, look at that. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Look at that, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. It's, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me give you guys another shot over here of that 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 eye right there in the ribeye. Oh my gosh. Still nice and hot. 
I'm gonna tint it for a little bit. I'm gonna let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna cut into it. So you gotta let, when, when you do something like this, you gotta let it rest, guys. You gotta let it rest. So I'm just gonna cover it up with a little bit of aluminum. Let's go ahead and cut into this uh, bone-in ribeye. It's been resting already about maybe uh, 15 minutes. So, ta-da! Looks good, looks good. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and detach these ribs. So, you know, the people uh, over at Publix were nice enough to go ahead and, and uh, cut them off. Or not cut them off, but um, they, they, they cut all the way. They left maybe just a little bit to connect down at the bottom, I believe. And then they reattached it. They trussed it back up. So let's take a look at it. Wow, that looks good. We're going to finish cutting it right here. And just look at these ribs, these rib bones. I might put them back inside the smoker, you know, and, and uh, give them a little bit. Oh, that meat is soft, baby. Yeah, let me put them back in. Here we go. So here it is, moment of truth, guys. We're gonna cut, starting over on this side. And some people are like nice, oh my gosh. I, was, I, I couldn't finish my sentence. Some people like nice thick cuts and that looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, that looks, my mouth is watering right now so bad. Let me cut me another nice thick cut. Get another look a little bit closer inside. There we go. Oh yes, sir. Just look at that. I mean, that is gorgeous, nice and soft and tender. And look at that, that part of the ribeye right there. I mean, oh my gosh. This will be my last piece. And then I got to give it a little taste test. Oh my gosh. That looks absolutely gorgeous. I am going to cut a little bit off of this one right here. Just cut this piece and daub up some of these juices. Here we go, guys. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. There's no words that I could describe how tender, how tender and juicy. Um, I just gotta get me another little bite. I don't know about, oh my gosh. There it is. Oh, look at that. Just look at that. Look how tender that is. I'm just having me a little piece. Mmm. Oh. Oh. That is jam up. The JPAP and the JP Steak partnered together. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely the best bone in ribeye that I've ever done. It is really, really good. So, oh my God. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm gonna cover this back up. I think I'm gonna sneak me a little piece right here. Cover this back up, because I got some people that I gotta feed, and I got some more food that I gotta put together. Guys, do me a favor. If you like what I'm doing here, Hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. Bone and ribeye for the end of the year. It don't get no better than this, guys. It's a good way to finish up the year. Um, Want to thank all my viewers and my subscribers. Do me a favor, look down in the in the description. Check out my affiliate links, especially my Amazon store. And if you're interested in any of these products that I have. This is my website, jpbarbecue.com. It's where I sell all my products. And these are the things that I use to help support this, this channel. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys very much. I will talk to you later. Have a good one. I'm going to eat. This is fantastic. <laughs>